Oh, g'day guys, how are we? Barry Steak Fries here again. And uh, as I always say, keep your eyes on the fries. Uh, just playing around with some catchphrases this week, I'm trying to see if one sticks. Dunno, dunno about that one. Maybe, maybe a, uh, maybe a catchphrase is too obvious. Maybe we need to think about something like a, uh, a catch note. Like, I'm Barry Steak Fries, as I always say, yeah! Maybe? Dunno, we'll see, we'll see. I'm just, uh, I don't know. Feel a bit toey, to be honest, guys. Bit of cabin fever. I feel like I'm just sort of stuck in this same, same room, doing the same blog every week. If they animated my legs, you know, we can take this show on the road, but they haven't bothered. So here we are, still, still here, still trying to come up with a decent catch note. Um, but anyway, let's uh, let's try and find the positives. Let's maybe, let's maybe do some more jetpack reviews. I know you guys love them. You always like hearing my opinions on jetpacks, and uh, you know my insights can be very valuable. Very valuable if you're ever trying to break into a lab and steal a jetpack. Uh, or whatever, whatever it is you guys do in your spare time. I don't know. Uh, but anyway, you know, there's jetpacks and there's jetpacks, guys. Some of them, like the DIY jetpack, not even a jetpack at all. So, uh, let's, let's, uh, let's try and start on a positive, maybe. Uh, what do I like? I like the gold-plated shark head. You know? I put that one on and I just think to myself, Yeah? Yeah? That working for anyone? I don't know. Anyway, the gold-plated shark head, you know, what's not to love? Honestly, there's nothing more badass than flying gold shark. I mean, come on, that's, you know, that's great. There's nothing better. It does cost 75,000 big ones, so, you know, a little on the expensive side, but you can't expect that level of badassery, you know, for free. So, uh, that one gets a Barry thumbs up, or, as I like to say, it gets the ha <laughs> This is working? Isn't it? Yes. Uh, what else do I like? The old Flying V. The Flying V jetpack. Uh, pretty awesome. Doubles as a guitar, which is great. Um, just gotta be careful when you're, when you're actually using that bad boy to, uh, to shred. Because, uh, let me tell you a story, before I embarked on my solo album, um, Stakeout Fries, uh, before that I was in a, in a band, Barry and the Jetpacks, we were jamming in a garage, uh, I was halfway through a face melter, and, uh, accidentally forgot what I was playing, hit the whammy bar and the thing just took off, uh, obviously ended the jam early, set fire to the shed, and the drummer needed facial reconstruction surgery. If wasn't for that, it would have set me on the path to fame and fortune. <laughs> uh, but anyway, just just a word of warning there, you know. I'm a bit iffy on the wiring of that thing too. It flies with the power of raw alternating current, which is surely got to be an OHS issue. Uh, what else is there out there? Oh, the Red Barry jetpack. Not so much of a fan of that one either, to be honest. Number one, not even a jet. It's got a propeller. Number two, the propeller, very, very close to the top of my head. I'm not really comfortable with it, guys. One bump and that could be the end of Steak Fries. Bang! Steak out, Fries, the solo album. That'd be it. It'd be done. And uh, I just don't want to take that risk, you know? This isn't Age of Zombies. We're trying to keep the gore to a minimum in this game, you know? I mean, I can get revived when I hit a zapper or a missile, but, you know, I don't want to push it. Not too many people are going to survive getting their brain chopped in half. I mean, I probably would. I'm Barry Steak Fries, so I, I'm, maybe I would, but just don't know if it's worth the risk. Uh, what else? The Beehive Jetpack. I'm not sold on that one either. You know, sticky, covered with angry bees. Honestly, I'm not sure what psychopath came up with this design, but uh, I just don't like anything about it, to be honest. Although, after a long session on the old Beehive, there is nothing better than strapping on the ice-cold snow machine to your back. And I'll tell you what, that big frozen box to some fresh beastings. Nothing better than that. 
questions. We got some questions coming in. The fans have been at it. Ignacio Ismael Lopez Maldonado says, What events will be launched this year? Please. I want to play Chinese New Year, St. Patrick's Day, the Bling It On, the Fruit Ninja, the Zappy Bird events. When are they going to be available to play? That is a great question, Ignacio. I am not sure. But let me tell you, as soon as they animate my legs, I am going to march into the boss's office, slam my fist down on the table and say, Hey, when are these things coming out? And why didn't you come to the barbecue I threw on, on Sunday? Uh, so I'll let you know, mate. Uh, what else we got here? Mr. Pine Clone. Hey, Barry, stop running so fast. You might get hit by zappers. Very good advice there from Pine Clone. Uh, again, lack of animated legs means probably pretty safe, but thanks. Hakati says, Barry, steak fries. I love jetpack joyride. See, this is what I'm talking about, guys. This is what I'm talking about. This is the kind of, you know, useful feedback that I've been asking people for. So thanks very much, Akadi. And as I always say, that one was just for you. Ah, time for one more. Pink Umbrella, Barry, how many times you died? Too many times, Pink Umbrella. Too many times. Anyway, that's, uh, that's all we got for this week. Thanks for listening. Uh, I've been Barry Steak Fries, and uh, I'll see you later. <laughs> hey. I can't actually leave. Still don't, have, still don't have... Guys, I still don't have any legs. Yeah, I know that, Sean, but I can't walk over there without... Guys? Guys! <laughs>